Hi and welcome to my guide. Today we're going to be completing the Lumbridge and Draenor Heart Diary. The quest requirements are Lost City, Lost Tribe, Tears of Guthics, Another Slice of Ham and Recipe for Disaster. Skill requirements are 46 Agility, 52 Prayer, 57 Woodcutting, 59 Runecrafting, 60 Magic, 63 farming, 65 fire making and 70 crafting. All of the stats can be boosted. I just needed 28 pure essence, a cosmic tiara and a dramon staff. You could also just go through the abyss, then you don't need these two items. But in this guide I am not using the abyss. Next any kind of bones, 1 cosmic, 2 nature, 4 water and 14 earth runes. Any kind of axe that you can use, a tinderbox, farming supplies, uh, the ones that you can store in your tool leprechaun, a belladonna seed and any kind of gloves. Then also a ball of wool, a gold bar, an amulet mold and a cut diamond, a light source, 130,000 GP and then lastly having the bones to peaches spell already unlocked. You can do this in the mage training arena located just north of the dual arena bank. For the recommended items is as always some weight reducing armor and two stamina potions should be enough. As well as one bucket of super compost. Next for the teleports I will be using two charges of a ring of dueling, one game necklace charge and then one teleportation method to Lumbridge. So for my first task, let's start with the farming one. This takes the longest. This requires 63. Let's go to the Drainer Manor. Should know where that is located. And let's go to the Belladonna patch just located west of the manor. Here, rake your uh, Belladonna patch. So grab your farming supplies and a super compost. Use super compost on the patch and put your seed in there. And now we just need to wait five and a half hours for this plant to be fully grown. Then we need to pick it and complete task number one. But in the meantime, let's teleport to Lumbridge. All right, once we are here, let's go to the basement of the Lumbridge Castle. Next we're going to pick up the brooch just like in uh, the Lost Tribe quest. So first you'll need to have a light source of course. So once you have your light source and your tinderbox let's go squeeze through the hole and pick up the brooch that is located just here on the floor next to Kasgar. Right click on him once you have the brooch and let's go to the mines. Here at the quest sign we should find uh, Mistak. Let's talk to him or let's just right click and use the brooch on him. And he will give you a mining helmet. Right click on him and let's go back to the cellar. So let's go back to the basement. Let's squeeze through the hole and here we will need to use our tinderbox on the mining helmet and you will light it if you have 65 or higher fire making. Alright, awesome! After we've done that, let's go to the Lumbridge Cellar Bank. Let's right click on it and buy items and then buy Barrow's Gloves. And this will complete task number two. Next, let's go upstairs. And next we will need to go to the Lumbridge Furnace, which is located east of the Lumbridge General Store. Alright, here at the furnace, let's use our gold bar on it. Make a diamond amulet, unstrung. Let's string it. Stage number two. Now we just need to enchant it, level four enchantment. And this will complete task number three. Next, let's go across the bridge and go south. Now we will need to go make a canoe. 
and we will need to take it to Edgeville. So be sure that you have an axe in your inventory and that should be it that we will need. Besides then the 57 woodcutting. So chop down the canoe station. Shape the canoe into a waka. Float the canoe and now we need to paddle it to Edgeville. Alright, task number 4 is completed. Now let's go to the Grand Exchange. Next we are going to the minecart, just behind the wall, let's go to that transportation sign, right click on it and travel. Be sure to pick up your pets, else you are not allowed to go inside of this uh, train cart. Alright, after you've arrived, let's go a bit north and then directly east. Just keep going east until you hit a wall. There you should find a transportation sign. Let's enter the doorway, abort the train and let's go AFK. Uh, the train will leave for Dorgash Khan shortly, but we will have to take the train from Dorgash Khan actually to Kelagrim. So after we've arrived in Dorgash Khan, just wait another minute for the train to leave to Kelagrim once again. And that will be task number five completed. Alright, after you've arrived back here in uh, Kelegrim, you have completed task number 5. Let's go enter the doorway once again and let's now uh, go back to the minecarts. Let's go to track number 3, starting from the northern one is number 1, so 1, 2, 3. On the third track, let's climb aboard or ride the final uh, train cart. And this will take us back to the Grand Exchange. At the Grand Exchange we will need to deposit everything in our inventory because now we are going to craft double cosmic runes. So let's go to the Grand Exchange Bank and equip our Dramon Staff, equip our Cosmic Tiara. Let's also equip a Games Necklace, a Dual Ring of two charges and then for the rest of the inventory should just be Essence. Alright, once you are done, let's go to the ferry ring. It is just located where we uh, have traveled with the canoe from. Just south of that canoe station, there is a ferry ring. Next, at that ferry ring, we will need to use the code BKS. Awesome, let's travel south and to complete task number 6 we will need to go through one of the two shortcuts. If you just have 46 agility then you will need to take the second one, the uh, western one. This will complete task number 6 out of 11. Next let's continue running south and enter the mysterious ruins. There let's craft 56 cosmic runes. From an inventory of 28 essence, this will complete task number 7 out of 11. 
and afterwards let's teleport to Clan Wars. So with this inventory we need to have some prayer points. Crap, I don't have any. Uh, let's quickly drink a prayer potion those and let's go to the prayer altar. It is just located well here at the altar sign south of the minigame sign. Let's activate smite and pray at the altar. This will complete task number eight. Next let's use our game necklace and teleport to Tears of Gothic. Even though it is in a cave you don't need a light source. Let's go north and let's do a game of Tears of Gothic. Be sure to, ha to have nothing in your hands. Let's talk to Juna. Yes, okay. You will tell her one of the stories. And now we just need to collect 100 blue tears to complete task number 9. The timer here, how fast your timer will go down, all depends on the amount of quest points you have. If you were unlucky and you weren't able to collect 100 tears, then sadly enough you will need to wait one week to be able to do this task over. Alright, after you've gathered over 100 tiers of Gothics, this will complete task number 9. Nice level up. Next, let's teleport with our door ring to the dual arena. And let's now go to the Elkrit bank. Uh, there we will need to grab our two nature runes, four earth runes, four water runes and any kind of bones. So, two nature, four earth, four water, any kind of bones. Alright, after you've gotten these runes and the bones, so let's enter the Alcarid Palace. Just to be safe, I'm going to be standing inside of one of the building. Let's cast the Bones to Peaches spell. This will complete task number 10. To complete our final task, we must wait for our belladonna seeds to be fully grown into a nightshade plant. 
This should take an extra 5 hours and 15 minutes. If you haven't unlocked the bonus to Peach's spell, then you can do that right now. Uh, it is also quite likely that the Nightshade will die, so maybe check up on it once or twice. So you will be able to complete this task from the first go. So, after you've casted the Bones to Peaches spell inside of the Alcarit Palace, and you've successfully picked up some Nightshades from the Belladonna patch, you've completed your final two tasks, and you've completed the Lumbridge and Heart Diary. Now you can claim the reward from the guy outside of the Lumbridge Castle. And the rewards are 1 Experience Lamp that grants 15,000 experience in any skill above level 50, 50% 50 run energy replenishment 4 times a day, access to the shortcut between Lumbridge Swamp and Desert, 10% increased experience from Tears of Gothics, and unlimited teleports to the cabbage patch next to the Faldor farm. Okay, this was my guide how to complete the Lumbridge and Hard Diary. Hopefully it helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.